Now before we start this video, I would like to add a disclaimer. This is quite a sad video. It's something I'm not 100% comfortable doing, but we're gonna give it a go. It does involve a sort of autopsy, as it were, of a dead tarantula. So if that's something you're gonna find upsetting, please feel free to end this video now. Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. On this channel we like to discuss all things creepy crawly. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel. So yes, we have a dead tarantula here. We'll have a closer look in a moment. Do you guys remember, or you will if you've been watching me for a while now, we had a adult female darlingy that was acting strange. So we rehoused her in the hopes that her behavior might change. We tried all sorts of different things. I'm not gonna go into all the details. If you wanna know, watch that video. Um, but we basically together came up with two sort of ideas. Either she's uh, compacted, whereas her, like her poop is stuck on the inside, kind of like constipation, but she can't get it out. Um, and that can kill them, that can be fatal. Or another suggestion was that she was going to produce a phantom sac, which has kind of clogged up in her system, causing the same issue. So basically for a fossorial tea, although her burrows were fairly shallow, she is really a fossorial tarantula, maybe semi-terrestrial, but she shouldn't have been acting the way she was. She was acting like an arboreal tarantula. She was hanging at the top of the enclosures very, very often. In fact, nearly all of the time. And in this rehouse, in fact, let me just show you. Let me show you what she did in this home where I thought maybe, just maybe we're gonna get somewhere and then didn't. So here's her home. Now, as you can see, when she first started webbing in here, I was like, yes, she's producing silk again. Is she gonna do a burrow? Um, she started silking around the edge here and I was like, good, is she gonna burrow down there? No, she's got a little burrow there, she never used. But then as time went on, as you can see, her silk was actually from the tops gliding down like curtains everywhere. So you can tell that she spent all of her time outside of any kind of hide or burrow and it's really really sad and this is how I found her this morning she is soft you can see the movement this is just me moving her around but she is definitely dead and I'm really sad by that so anyway to the point of this video we are going to do a little tarantula autopsy here we're gonna cut open her abdomen and see what's inside. Now, you can see the size of her abdomen. She looks kind of like healthy or well fed or whatever, but this abdomen's been this size for, well, over a year now, I would say. It never, never shrunk. She hasn't eaten in, sorry, my phone's going mad. She hasn't eaten in at least six months refused food all that time. Her abdomen should not have stayed that large. Right, I need to go mute my phone. And in the meantime, I'm gonna take her out of here and we'll, well, cut her open and see what we can find. Okie dokie, so here she is. Now, although it would be super cool for me to have preserved this girl, being a tarantula I've raised from a sling all the way to adult female, I just, curiosity, I think, as to what was going on with this tarantula has kind of overcome that. And, you know, if I could spot what was going on, maybe on the inside of her, I can know what to look out for, what signs to look out for, and other tarantulas behaving this way and, and seeing exactly what it was. So I'm gonna zoom you in. Like, I'm actually really uncomfortable about doing it, but I think it's important. I think it's really important for us to learn what has happened. This is not some sort of like um, grotesque fetish or whatever some of you might think. This is science. This is figuring out 
what has gone and the longer I've spent talking to you and looking at her the more and more off-putting this is getting and the more I'm just sitting there thinking I could send her to dead set I could send her to somebody else that was me slipping then I was looking at the camera screen not at the spider and when I tilted it forwards and it moved made me jump <laughs> okay so what we're gonna do then is flip her over like this Oh, the abdomen is really quite gooey. Ugh. Okay, I'm gonna do my best for you guys to see. Obviously, her underside is very dark, so it's gonna be a little awkward for you guys to see. And where I cut into her, I'm sure there is some sort of nervous system here, so if you see any flailing or moving of limbs, that is nerves, that is not that this spider is alive. This is a highly defensive tarantula. I certainly wouldn't be able to play with her legs like this if she was alive. There's no moving mouth parts. You see, she is definitely 100% dead. Right, so I'm opening a fresh razor blade to do this with. I don't actually know where the Stanley knife is and my box cutting knife um, is quite thick. Uh, I think that it would just make quite a bit of mess. Now I have never done this before, uh, so I don't know what to expect. But uh, yeah, and I'm not a scientist, I wouldn't be able to tell you what each organ is. So here we go, I suppose. It's got a, oh, made a tear there. Yeah, oh, I don't know how well you guys can see through my hands here. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Can anyone see all that white? Let me flip her around, look at this. Look at all that. Is that normal? Of what? Well, it stinks as well. That really stinks. Considering she died this morning, or early hours, late late last night, early hours this morning. Okay. Oh my god. That is. That is rancid, guys. That stinks real bad. Something is not right about this. So I'm gonna go see if I can find a cotton bud or something and try and hollow her out. So there's quite a few people that have done this before. You can tell me, was yours this gross? I certainly don't remember him see it being this white, which to me might indicate that she was stuck, that there was a lot of tarantula poop here, but then I haven't found, oh, sorry, this stinks. At the same time, I haven't found any hard bits of, of poo in here. So I'd like, oh, this is bad, this is real bad. I would like you, your guys' opinions on it. Look at it all. I really do need some advice here, guys. How many of you have opened a tarantula's abdomen? And was there this much inside your one? Okay. So there she is, completely hollowed out now. Oh, I don't even want to use my hands. Um, yeah, that was grim, guys. Now, yeah, I could try and stuff her and try and do some taxidermy myself, but I'm also quite a big believer in the cycle of life here, and we recycle everything in the realm. So, for example, if I go over here, ignore the mess, ignore the mess, that little pot, that's got some of my old stick insects and a dead old mantis in there that are just drying out and they will eventually 
become isopod. Oh, excuse me, isopod food. Um, so she will also probably become isopod food. Uh, that is such a shame. That is really such a shame. So I'm still going to stick by the fact that she was compacted. Um, just because there was an awful lot of white in there which is the same colour as tarantula's poo and I mean she was acting the same way as a tarantula with that but I never found any like hard bit any hard plug in the end so again I'm, I'm kind of stumped I'm not 100% happy with this minor little autopsy because I cannot tell you for sure but I can keep this video for my own records now and obviously you guys comments might be able to help me figure it out but uh yeah i'm wondering if maybe i can remove the horn and keep the horn somehow shall i have a little play see what i can come up with have some sort of little way to remember her by and then allow her body to be eaten naturally by our other inverts if not, I could keep a fang, perhaps. We'll see what I can come up with, I tell you what. We'll put this camera back on the tripod. I'll have a little play with the, uh, with the blade. And uh, see if I can work something out. I mean, maybe it'd be nice to see what's actually under the horn. As we don't fully know its purpose. Hmm. I just feel disrespectful, though. You know what I mean? But, in the name of science, and for me to have a token, let's see what I can come up with here. Okay, so what I've done is I've just removed the, the carapace and the fangs. I'm not getting the lighting quite right in here. I do apologise for this video. Um, and the reason being is I wanted to see what was under this horn if I were to flip it now I have flipped her body upside down because you can see Nastiness from underneath the carapace and it's quite upsetting and I don't even want to look at it So that is staying that way. I'm sorry for you, you people that are a bit gross and want to see that But if we flip this It's a bit gunky so I am going to try and uh, clean that up and see if there is anything linking to that horn from on the inside. Okay, so here is what I have discovered. I've pulled a fang forward for you to see. So she had some very sharp fangs there, but push that back down again. Uh, light, light, light. Cannot get this quite right for you. One second, yeah, that's better. You can see, hopefully, where the horn was is that circle there and it's hollow. It's actually hollow. There's another bit of an angle for you. So I used to have to see some of the shiny innards. I got most of it off, but it is, it's just like a, a crater in a moon. If I were to lift that, you can see goes all the way to the end which means there's nothing there's nothing in there that I'm aware of so that is very interesting at all obviously where I've hollowed it out there may have been something in there that I've, I've pulled out but this is pretty much the extent of the mess from inside the top half of that carapace the rest of the gunk is is in here again i'm not flipping this spider over for you to see that but there isn't a lot you see so that's really interesting uh put the macro lens on for you so you can see that crater better completely hollow and we lead up to her fangs there but if I could dry this out nicely, then if we were to flip that, try and put her fangs back a bit more. There, look at that. The head piece 
of our darling eagle to remember her by. I think have I damaged the horn there? No, that was just fluff on the horn. So I've removed that. So there we are. And uh, although it might seem gross to some, I now have a keepsake of our gal that once I've cleaned it up properly shouldn't have any smell or or crinkling or go bad because it's just the top half. It's just the uh, outer part plus the fangs in the horn. So yeah I'll keep that to remember our girl and the rest of it will never go to waste. Go to isopods or roaches and they can get some goodness out of her. I'm gutted. I'm gutted we couldn't get to the root of the problem and save her in time but I mean at least now I know what it looks like inside a tarantula from my own hands and uh, I know how to cut one open quite well so we could try taxidermy in the future perhaps. I mean I've managed to remove that pretty well and the, the slit over here in the abdomen was was very good. I think it was a very smooth cut and we followed it out pretty well so yeah maybe we'll give that a go down the line oh girly girl so guys I'm sorry for a bit of a sad and not very scientific video in fact for what I'd hoped but we live and learn and I think I'll be a bit more prepared if we ever need to do this again to work things out again please comment me below with your thoughts on what happened to her I'm still sticking by my guns of the uh, compaction or whatever the actual term is the 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 stuck poo the build-up of poo the constipation in this tarantula but uh, I can't know for sure so that's going to be it for today I'm going to put these scraps in with the pods, clean up the head a little bit more and have that as a, a little keepsake to remember her by because she was fantastic. Yeah, there's there's not much more I can think to, to say in this one. So it's been a lot more um, like... There's more going through my head in this video than 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 what I may have have let out. You know, I'm okay, I'm all good, but it's not. It's not been nice. I thought the curiosity and that that eagerness to know what happened might have overrun the the sad part of it, but I had a fair few years. And uh, yeah, but I'm glad I've got a little keepsake. And I'm glad that we found out that inside the horn is hollow too. So, yeah, that, I'm just going to cut it. I'm just going to cut it. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.